Welcome to the no, vlog. No, we are ghosts. Wait, hold up. No, stop. I can't see anything. Can you can you fix me? I literally can't see what anything. Where are my glasses? Yeah, we out here. Halloween 2020. We ghosted. <laughs> Not related. Hey, so, really like I mean, put your glasses on. Hi, sweetie. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Here we are out here. I don't know what I want. You're not moving the way I'm moving. <laughs> what this vlog is, is how to have a social life. And what you, one thing you can do is go to downtown Marion. And then, especially for Halloween, you can dress up as ghosts and take pictures. By the way, this is Seth. This is Joe. Hi, how are you? And that's Hannah. <laughs> Another way that you can be social in college is always coming to your friends' dorms when they have no idea you're going to be in here. What are you doing? Wash your mouth, kids. Anyways, can I use some of that? Mm -hmm. What I'm trying to say is my roommate here and I seem to have a very um, community-based room. Neither of us are room are her roommates. No. But they're always here. Yes. And another thing you can get involved in is a small group through the chapel. It's Ooh, first you. of all like a way to get chapel credit. <laughs> and second of all, it <laughs> I just want to cuddle with it. Um anyway. <laughs> Okay, so basically, you can get involved in a small group, travel credit, and great community. My chapel group leader is Maggie Nate, and she is the best. She has a townhouse, and so we went to her townhouse one time, and we were just like vibing. Right now, we're going through the life of David, but that, those are ways that you can get involved. It's also encouraging your spiritual life. It's just really, really good to be involved in a group that's going to grow you spiritually. How do you guys think that you can get involved in social life in college? Comment down below. Subscribe. No, I'm talking about you. Oh. I'm asking you. Are you asking them? No. It's for them. <laughs> How would you guys say like you've gotten involved in college and like how your social life has been in my fye class at first it was really awkward because you're kind of in there and you don't know anybody yeah. and like you're all in the same boat so that was kind of comforting i've actually hung out with a lot of the people in my fye class like outside of class and it's really nice to like because a lot of them are in my major so i have other classes with them too i was gonna say intramurals but that got cut so <laughs> yeah that's kind of sad but that was really fun. I did I did form a lot of friendships through anime roles. I would get connected to your RA. Um, She's an RA! Yeah, so get connected to your RA because they're there to connect with you. It's nice to have somebody to go to and talk to the first couple of weeks because it's awkward and most of the time you don't really know anybody and mm -hmm. it's all new to you. Um, and so to have somebody who's older and like who's already kind of been through going through college for the first time and making friends. Another thing I just want to add, like, being homesick is is okay like you don't have to like feel ashamed for being homesick i was homesick for a while that's another like good thing about getting involved socially and like you can also just like make friends there and feel like at home where you are but it's okay to go home it really is but just know that like there are things still happening on campus even though it's corona they're trying to do the best. So if you feel like it makes sense to go home and you're not going to be missing out on it and you want to, mm -hmm. that's fine. I mean, I go home quite a bit, but so I also like try to be here as much as I can be. And yeah. I think that's a pretty good balance to have. Yeah, I think that it, it is a there is like a balance, but at the same time, like don't go home every weekend no. because then you are going to miss out on like what because things happen on the weekend and like you grow closer to people on the weekend you stay up late and you go to Ivanhoe's and you like do all the things that Sorry. grows you closer to each other mm -hmm. and so like going home every weekend isn't going to help that I would also say put yourself out there I feel like when you go to college it's more of like I'm gonna find my own friend group and like you know whatever and then you get to junior year and you look back and you're like dang I wish I would have done more yeah. so what I was gonna say was how you can Go ahead. You're very close to the camera. <laughs> okay. How you can be social in college 
is you can go to a life group, get involved in a church, and go to a life group, and um, that's what we just did tonight. I have some water. Mm -hmm. And it was so good. Mm -hmm. Hannah, do you want to share a little bit about mm -hmm. the life group tonight? Mm -hmm. This is my roommate, Cece. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, actually what we do in life group is we basically go over what we talked about in church, like the sermon, and kind of what our pastor Bob had to say and stuff, and he asks, he sends questions, and so... She has mouthwash in her mouth, by she the way. Does. She does this for much longer period. I don't know how she hasn't killed I don't know. All. I literally don't know how she doesn't burn her mouth off. Today, we discuss Genesis uh, chapter 3, verses 8 through 13, and for those of you who don't know, that's basically when... Adam and Eve uh, hid in the garden because they were ashamed of what they had done, their sin. The main parts that he discussed today were, like, after the fall. That is so disgusting in my ear. <laughs> in my room! Go, go, go to the out. sink and spit it out! No, wait, here's a cup! Please don't spill that. That's so disgusting. Ugh. Okay, so the main points that we were says there are three major points. One was the problem of shame. Two was the problem of blame. And then the third part was the blessing of grace. And so in the first part, it talked about like the guilt and like shame and how they kind of like coexist with each other and how guilt is like what you've done and then how shame is like who you are. And then we talk about like different kinds of shame. So like the shame that we feel from others and then like the shame that we give ourselves. For the second part, the problem of blame. Just the down. fact that like Adam and Eve blamed, like Adam blamed Eve, but he also in the sentence that he said, he was like the woman that you made me. So he was also blaming God in that sentence. And then also Eve blaming the serpent. So just kind of like the fact that they were blaming each other. Mm -hmm. They also talked about how Adam, since he was given authority over Eve, even though Eve was the one who got deceived and disobeyed first, Adam was blamed for what she did. And in the same way, Jesus took our blame and like took our punishment, even though we're the ones who fell into sin, not him. We're the ones who should have paid the punishment for sin, sin and been blamed for that, but we're not. Jesus took it for us. And then in the blessing of grace, God chased after them when they needed grace. And God always pursues sinners. He pursues us all the time, mm -hmm. but we don't even, more often than not, we don't pursue him. He talked about the story, like uh, the shepherd leaving the 99 mm -hmm. to save the one. The way that the gospel tied into all this was like God pursuing sinners mm -hmm. and kind of how like he did that through Jesus as well. Mm -hmm. That was sermon today. That was the sermon today, and so in life group, we always are talking about the sermon, and we kind of just like dissect it, and the leader of the life group asks us questions, and we get into conversations that um, are really, really good. Yeah, and we have snacks. Remember when I ate an apple? And <laughs> Oh yeah, she ate an apple tonight, and she's allergic to apples. I just, and I wanted the caramel though. Why would you eat an apple if you know you're allergic to it? Because I wasn't, it, it was so tempting. <laughs> I'm sorry. I so she I gave it to the forbidden fruit. <laughs> I mean, my gosh, life group was so good. Yeah, we talked about worship music and how in the modern age we tend to make worship music like oh my word. about self. Yeah, and the reality is is that if you're worshiping to a song that's all about you, you're actually worshiping yourself and not God. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Just be mindful and be aware of what worship songs you're listening to. Well, we're going to bed. Make sure you brush your teeth. Crest That's is a good way to get involved. mouthwash. Pearly whites. <laughs> you don't want to get involved and have sank breath. Psalm 78, 35. Shut up! I mean, don't stop! <laughs> Preach the and, gospel! And then they remembered that the Lord was their rock and their redeemer. Okay, good night. Tears falling down at the party Saddest little baby in the room Fears tell me, fears don't get me started I could take little gray hair for every scare you share Those aren't meant to bend No, those aren't